So the doctor was wrong. He was shocked that he was wrong. He was, I think, embarrassed and wanted to cover up the fact that he was wrong. So they sent me home with this machine. They sent, sent me home with a, a loner mask that, that broke. Um, I remained, I, I should have been hospitalized. They should have hospitalized me for a few weeks to try to get things under control or weeks or months. They sent me home with this machine that was turned way too high. For my 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 breathing was so shallow and, and so weak. My lack of drive to breathe, like my body didn't want to breathe anymore. My oxygen was low. I was retaining carbon dioxide. They refused to test my carbon dioxide. Trauma, medical trauma. I, I, I was being traumatized and I am being traumatized. So they sent me home with this machine turned too high for my weak breathing to breathe against. And I was stopping breathing with the machine. They eventually turned it down once. It was too high for my for the strength of my lungs and diaphragm. Absolute trauma. I was sitting upright. I couldn't breathe laying down anymore. My lungs were collapsing. My lungs would collapse. I still can't breathe laying down. I have orthopnea. It's, it's from damage. It's from damage from that medical crisis. They, they turned the machine down once and they refused to see me. I remained in medical crisis. I remained, I was so ill that I was stopping breathing during the day. They refused to see me. They refused to see me. I was calling the hospital. I was calling the nurse educators. I was calling this doctor's secretary. They refused to see me. I was in medical crisis. I believe I was in respiratory failure. And I believe that this doctor just thought I would not survive. I should have been hospitalized. I called everywhere in Canada for help. There is no protection. There is no medical advocacy. The college would not help me. The health authority would not help me. I was, I couldn't understand why I remained in medical crisis and my family doctor wouldn't help me, wasn't fighting for me. That family doctor eventually dropped me. I remained in crisis and then I found out later why this family doctor dropped me, why he couldn't handle the stress of this, because that sleep apnea doctor, the sleep respirologist, sent him a report that made him made it look like I wasn't sick. He was embarrassed that he had misdiagnosed me. He left important things out of the... He didn't tell my family doctor that I was stopping breathing nonstop. And he didn't tell my doc family doctor that I only slept an hour and a half at the hospital. So he was trying to admit important information, how ill I really was, and tried to say that it was a psych matter. Right, because he was embarrassed that he was wrong. So I had to find another doctor, and, and we kept pushing sending out referrals for the other sleep respirologists. The other sleep respirologists refused to see me. For over two years, they locked me out of that sleep lab in the hospital. They refused me care for over two years. I made hundreds of calls in the healthcare system, fighting for advocacy, fighting for help, 
looking for someone to force them to take me to see me. It got so bad that I fought to get a tracheostomy for over two years, to get a hole cut in my throat so that I could breathe at night. Absolute torture and trauma. While I was waiting to get into the hospital with the first, with that first sleep rest, well, maybe I shouldn't tell that story. Trauma and abuse of power. I was literally, literally medically tortured. The res respirologists refused to see me. The other respirologists refused to see me. My doctors, my my other doctors, family doctors, and the a psychiatrist that I used to see years ago were plying me with sleep drugs, plying me, over-medicating me, at times overdosing me with sleeping pills to try to get me to sleep. And I was suffering from sleep apnea the whole time, but nobody would assess me. So they were making my sleep apnea much worse, literally torturing me with sleep drugs, making my sleep apnea much worse. Nobody could discern. None of the family doctors could discern that I had sleep apnea. It took decades for me to diagnose it. I didn't know what sleep apnea was. My doctors, psychiatry in the past, and family doctors were plying me with sleep medications, literally making an undiagnosed health issue much worse. Well, I got further and further into crisis, and they brought me to the brink of death. All the medications were making me worse and making my body not want to breathe and making the sleep apnea severe and undiagnosed. This has been literal torture. Five years later, I am still disabled and having breathing issues and respirology will not see me. This was done to me. There is no medical advocacy for people here. There's no medical protection. I'm, I'm fighting to survive here. I'm sleeping now, on average, three hours a night. I'm fighting to survive. 